What's up everyone? Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com here with Edward Papiro. Edward, how are you today? I'm very good, thank you for asking. Yeah, now, uh, so I was doing an interview backstage and uh, Edward was uh, behind me and he was talking and I, uh, I you know, I, I don't know, so I got up and I, you wanted a picture, right? Yes, I wanted did. A picture. I was a little starstruck. Well, I, I, you got to get out more, but anyway, so, uh, <laughs> so anyway, so, I, I told him, you know, when people are doing interviews, you should really not talk so loud. And then from there, of course, testosterone took over. Natural testosterone. There's only natural testosterone here. And, uh, of course, we got into it a little bit, but you're a heck of a nice guy. And so I want to do this interview with you. And uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Edward uh, Papiro. Um, I'm uh, currently an IFBB uh, professional bodybuilder. I compete in the 212s. Okay. Uh, but I came down here because just last summer I was an amateur athlete and I was... Uh, just a contestant at this show. Um, I did very well. I did win the overall, and I came back to uh, to give out some awards this evening. Yep. And uh, I bumped into my man. It was probably not the best way that we met. Nah, but it's good. But this is where we're at now, and it's a, just a testament to that. No matter how you meet somebody, you should always be polite, um, yep. even if you're met with a little adversity. You don't know what someone's going through. You know, he right. could have been having a hard day. I was clearly talking in his interview. Um, I didn't realize it. I apologized. And now we're here. Now, and now I'm we're here. An and I went to you and I shook your hand because I thought That's it was very important. Very I asked my friend, important. my friend Frank Diaz. I'm like Frank. I think I messed up. I think I should go over there and, and, and shake his hand. And Frank, you know, Frank is an awesome person. And I'm talking, of course, about Frank Diaz from Chrome Sups. Now, um, quick, quick. Uh, now he's not gonna come. He says he wants you to have this time. But he's here though. Ed's not crazy. He's in the room, right, Frank? You're here. That's right. Right. That's right. So the other thing I wanted to ask you about. Uh, talk to us about. Of course, like I mean, the 212 is a fantastic division. A lot of people say the camaraderie in the 212 actually trumps the Open. It trumps pretty much everything. I know Charles the Tank Dixon, Derek Lunsford. Here I am name dropping again, but these are really good people. Yeah, they're superstars. And there's no bullshit backstage. There's no like this thing going on with men's physique right now. It's insane. You know, like the just the the hatred just keeps getting worse and worse. Andre Ferguson tells me about it. George Brown tells it. Does, it's no end in sight. So how do you guys keep that awesome rapport backstage at the 212? And all around. Well, I mean, I don't ever want to speak for anybody else, but I will tell you this: um, everybody out there is really going hard to compete. Yeah. Uh, you know that the size is tight. There's a max weight, so you know we're bringing conditioning. Um, it's always, you know, going to be conditioning in two twelves. There's a limit. You know, right. You can never be this freak bodybuilder that yeah. just sweeps through and is larger than everyone. Right. Um, so I think that when you you do those weeks of no carbs and you're getting yourself conditioned, when you look over and you see that, you Im immediately have a mutual respect. Um, yeah. With the, the depleting of water, I just think that everyone is so tired and and has pushed so hard that it does not pay to be miserable. You know. Yeah. Uh, the guy next to me, if he beats me, that's fine. Yeah. I, you know, I I could I could really not care less. The politics talk and all that. If you want to win, bring your best physique. Yeah. Um, that's what I swear by, and that's what I intend to do my entire career. Absolutely, and like I, I put my hand on your shoulder to say, you know, again, because I felt bad. Do you have any any fat at all? Like it's no. like just muscle everywhere. Not to sound like a schmo or anything, but Jesus Christ. So let me ask you another thing too. Uh, Today, uh, Kevin Lavroni's seminar really like seems to have made a big it, impact it, on you. Talk it, to us about that a little bit. It touched home for me because uh, he spoke on a lot of things um, that were very important to me. I noticed that Kevin brought up paying it forward. Um, you know, just being nice to people because you never know when it's going to be your turn to be down. I, I got into bodybuilding, like he said, using this term platform. Right. Um, I have two sons that were born with a retinal degenerative disease. Um, so for me, I was born naturally strong. It was a gift. So I was taught to, if you have a gift, to give it away. So I feel as if I can do well at bodybuilding. They will give me a voice and I can continue to elevate my um, status in the community and continue to do my charity work. Absolutely. To me, that is the most important thing is to uh, give back. Absolutely. You know, I'm nothing without a fan. Nobody would watch if nobody cheered. Um, and I believe that, you know, if I can just put that message out there that, you know, it's not something that you can't do. It's just something that you haven't done yet. Right. I'm not special, man. You I are special, but you, yeah. I appreciate that. Absolutely. But I, I, I promise you, you woke up. You have all the same opportunities in the same Sure, that's, that's true. You know, as that's long true. as you wake up, you got a fighting chance to become anything you want to be. You Absolutely. Know, anything. Absolutely. And you should only listen to your heart, man. You know, and your coach. Your yeah. coach is usually <laughs> right, too. Very good. Social media. Where can folks, uh, uh, friends and fans, go to stay up with you? Steady underscore 33 is my um, Instagram page. I'm, I'm on Facebook, but very rarely. So if you could please just follow me on there, I would greatly appreciate it. Did you message it. me earlier today? Yes, I did. Oh, man. Yes, did. All right, cool. And All right. you messaged me back as well. Yes, I did. All yes, right. Well, um, good. 
so I appreciate it, guys. Uh, I'm up all night. You, you'll see if you follow me. I'm very interactive. Um, I give away all my workout routines. Um, I have uh, nothing is a secret. You know, you can't take any of this knowledge with you. And no hearse follows the uh, or no money truck follows the hearse, guys. Good so, stuff. So give it all away, man. Say your name Thank one you. more time. It's Edward Papiro. Edward Papiro. Remember that name. Yeah, please do. Christian Duke, strength.com. Thanks, Christian.